Hi, Alvin DeLeon here, and thanks for watching episode 12 of the three minute health tip. Over the years, I've had a lot of patients ask me about their allergies. You know, they're, they're not sure why all of a sudden at 24 years old, they're not able to eat sauce, tomato sauce, and that it causes digestive issues and diarrhea, or why at 30, when their daughter was first born, all of a sudden, they, uh, they're allergic to cats. They start having a cough. They don't even have to know that there's a cat in the house, but if they're in that house, they smell the dander, and all of a sudden, they'll start having a coughing attack. In order to explain allergies, we have to look at the, the whole concept of the fact that the majority of our symptoms originate from an unexpected conflict shock that we experience as emotionally distressing. Now, when we have these unexpected events take place in our lives, all of the body senses get heightened. Our body picks up whatever temperature is out there, whatever visual cues, whatever smells or tastes in our mouth or sounds, and it stores that in memory in order to protect us. Our body pretty much is saying that the last time that you heard that sound or you felt that temperature or you had that taste in your mouth, something dangerous was occurring. So I'm going to give you a symptom so you can get out of there. And so when we look back at some of these patients and I ask them, why 24? What was going on at 24 that was unexpected and distressful that created a distress for you that maybe didn't bother you for the first 23 years of your life when you could have no problems eating tomato sauce or that woman, that mother with a cat allergy at 30. Something unexpected must have taken place around that time when your daughter was first born for you to be scared and to create a, a distress that your body stored as a relationship to the cat and not the event itself. And when we start to really look there, and that's really one of the keys is that most of us never look for the emotional conflict shock, but when we do, we often find it. And we recognize that that woman that has an allergy to tomato sauce, it's not in fact a sauce, it was the fact that there was an incident at that age where her father over dinner, when they were having pasta, got angry and let's say forces her to, to break up with her boyfriend at that time. And that shock of that, event makes her angry and upset that her body stores and associates instead to the tomato sauce. Or that mother who has her you know, six month old daughter at 30, her daughter has a problem, a health issue where she stops breathing and she has to call 911. And that unexpected distress creates a scare for the mother that her body associates with the cat which they used to have around the house. And so that creates the cough for her every time there's a cat around. What do we do once we recognize this? Well, as we mentioned before, one of the key things in really overcoming our allergies is understanding and becoming aware that there's an emotional conflict that triggered it in the first place. And once we can become aware of that incident, that unexpected distress around the time that those allergies first showed up, then you can relax emotionally at the psyche level. And you can start to change your perspective and to remind yourself that the tomato sauce is safe to eat because you've been eating it for 23 years of your life. It had nothing to do with your immune system. It has to do with the fact that there was that anger issue regarding your dad at 24 and that now everything's fine. You know, or as that mother allergic to cats, that the cats are safe, that you've been around cats your whole life. And that in fact, the scare or the incident was that your daughter had a health issue at six months old that you had to call 911 for. And that was the scare that led to your coughing attacks and it wasn't the cat itself. And our ability to do this over time can hopefully lead to some great results in allowing you to finally get relief from your allergies. So go on and apply this information into your life and hopefully it's valuable in allowing you to finally overcome those allergy symptoms. I want to thank you again for your attention and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode.